of the challenges that we've had um, in, in particular in Atlantic Canada, but across Canada has been about the, uh, I guess, the way that we, the experience that we've had in the pandemic in care homes in particular. And there's been significant social failures that, you know, where we've failed as a society to protect our most vulnerable. What I think we'd love to hear from you is how would you suggest that as a community that we can come together to ensure that these events never happen again, regardless of the pandemic? Well, I think the, the pandemic has, uh, has, has caused us all sorts of problems. And of course, in Canada there, you're not unique in facing that sort of difficulty. We've had our own difficulties here in the UK in care homes. Um, I think what it what it means for what it means for us is this that if we're just going to be angry uh, and just going to um, let anger build up that's not going to take us far yes we can be critical and we should be critical yes we can say this has to change but also we have to test ourselves not just through words but by actions in showing our own personal care for those who are the most vulnerable in society. And that means building up community. One of the, there are some very good things that can happen as a result of lockdown and as a result of COVID. Some very good things. A renewed sense of community, a renewed sense that we have responsibility one for another and not just leaving it to institutions or organisations, but we ourselves to be involved in that and um i, I think that is a that is a, a way of approaching it I, I can't speak in detail about the halifax situation as i don't know it but i can speak from from my own experience here to say how positive it can be if we take it in the right way mm -hmm.